Medical science has developed technology to monitor our body's blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the walls of arteries. It is one of the four principal vital signs. As the heart beats, it creates the pressure exerted by blood, moving blood throughout the circulatory system. This is why blood pressure indicates cardiovascular health. Blood pressure rises with each heartbeat and falls when the heart relaxes between beats. The brain receives signals from pressure receptors in the carotid arteries, located in the neck. This interaction creates a negative feedback system that maintains blood pressure homeostasis. When blood pressure increases, receptors in the carotid arteries detect the change in blood pressure and send a message to the brain. The brain then slows the heartbeat, decreasing the blood pressure. Slowing the heart rate reduces blood pressure. Blood pressure is measured with a simple test using a blood pressure cuff called a sphygmomanometer. This device is a small pressure gauge attached to a short sleeve. To measure blood pressure, the doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to blood moving through an artery. The cuff is inflated. Then, as the cuff deflates, the first sound heard through the stethoscope is a whooshing sound. When the doctor hears this sound, the gauge measurement shows the systolic blood pressure. Systolic pressure indicates the heartbeat at maximum pressure. When the noise goes away, the gauge shows the diastolic blood pressure. Diastolic pressure indicates the heart relaxing between beats. It is the minimum blood pressure. The doctor writes the measurement with the systolic number on top and the diastolic number on the bottom. For example, your blood pressure may read 120 over 80. The sphygmomanometer measures blood pressures in millimeters of mercury, written as MMHG. Blood pressure depends on a wide range of factors. For people, normal resting systolic blood pressure ranges from 100 to 140 millimeters of mercury. Normal diastolic pressure is between 60 to 90 millimeters of mercury. Doctors consider blood pressure to be high if it is above 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. Chronic high blood pressure is a condition called hypertension. Hypertension is a common and potentially serious condition. Low blood pressure is referred to as hypotension. Many physical factors influence blood pressure. Blood pressure is influenced by blood volume and viscosity and the length, radial size, and smoothness of the blood vessels. Fatty deposits reduce the internal smoothness and diameter of blood vessels. These physical factors may in turn be affected by physiological influences, including diet, exercise, disease, drugs, alcohol, stress, and obesity. Blood pressure varies in the same way as water pressure in a hose or pipe. Constrict the hose and the pressure is increased at that point. Narrowing of the arteries can eventually block the blood supply altogether. It's important for your doctor to monitor your blood pressure because high blood pressure increases your risk of health problems. High blood pressure puts a strain on your arteries and your heart. Over time, this strain can cause arteries to become thicker and less flexible, or to weaken. As arteries become thicker and less flexible, they narrow, making them more likely to clog up. A clogged artery can cause blood flowing through it to clot, leading to a heart attack or stroke. Chronic high blood pressure can result in kidney disease, dementia, and eye damage. The good news is that there are many ways in which people can lower blood pressure to put less strain on the arteries and heart. You can maintain a healthy blood pressure with a low-sodium diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, and regular exercise. A healthy diet and body weight prevent your arteries from clogging with fatty deposits. Lifestyle modifications are not always enough to control blood pressure. These patients can take antihypertensives to lower high blood pressure. The drugs are available by prescription. There are several kinds of these medications, each of which works in a different way.